Hello! In this video, you will be provided with onboarding information in the Azure portal and partner management. Let's begin. Once logged into the Azure portal, go to Cost Management and Billing section. You can either access this section through your search bar or through the left side toolbar. Once in the Cost Management and Billing landing page, you are now able to see a list of all partner organizations you have access to. Partner organization is represented as billing account in Azure portal, and customer enrollment is represented as billing profile. Select the partner organization of your choice. In the overview section in Get Started, you are able to either manage billing profiles, manage access to your account, and find documentation on how to get started in new experiences in the Azure portal. In the same section on Summary tab, you can see billing account name, representing partner organization name. Billing account ID representing partner ID and authentication type. You can also access a list of active and extended billing profiles, which is EA enrollment if desired. An extended billing profile refers to an agreement from a customer who has opted not to expire and goes into a 12 month grace period at a retail rate rather than being shut down. You are also able to take action against a list of upcoming renewals or enrollments which are about to expire in 180 days. This will show up in this section if you have any. On the Other Billing Profiles section is a summary page of enrollments with statuses such as terminated, expired, transferred, or others. You may also access other billing profiles in the left side toolbar. Here, you are able to see all the enrollments available, their billing profile ID, the status, markup status, as well as start date and expiration date. Through the access control on your left side toolbar, you are able to manage the partner administrator user on the partner administrator. See authentication type. You may also see their current role and usage summary frequency details for each of them. Through the Billing Scopes blade on your left side toolbar, you may switch the scope between different partner organizations. In the New Support Request under Support and Troubleshooting, you are able to submit a Microsoft support ticket if you face any problems. We hope this video was clear and useful with onboarding information in the Azure portal and partner management. Thanks for watching.